Hi everybody, my name is Robin Burr and I'm a leader with Epicure in the Belleville, Ontario area. I am thrilled to be able to share with you today uh, one of my family's favorite meals, uh, a rotisserie chicken meal done in just a few minutes. I am super excited to be able to show this to you and I can't wait to hear what you think of it when you try it out. Before we get started, I would advise you to get out a pen, a pencil, and some paper, just so you can keep track of some of the items that I'm using this for during this demo, um, because you may wanna order them from your consultant as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So firstly, I'm using our multi-purpose steamer. We have two steamers that can do this job well. We've got our round steamer, which is actually being used for something else in my kitchen at the moment, and we've got this multi-purpose steamer. I've got our rotisserie chicken or in here, or it's gonna be tasting like a rotisserie chicken, but it's just a whole chicken breast, no seasonings or any of that kind of stuff, a whole chicken. I'm gonna take Epicure's rotisserie chicken seasoning and our Prep Pro scissors here and open this up. I'm gonna take half of the seasoning and just sprinkle it on. And then I'm gonna flip the chicken over and sprinkle on the rest. Now this seasoning actually makes a really great seasoning for a dry rub on your chicken wings or on chicken breasts, or you can marinate them. Just add a little bit of olive oil and you can let it marinate in there too. So I'm just gonna rub this in to our chicken to get it nice and seasoned, get all that great flavor in there. And then you're gonna cook this with the breast side facing up in your microwave. This is gonna cook on high for 20 minutes or depending on the wattage of your microwave, you're gonna to have to increase that time. You're gonna basically just want to get a, um, an inside temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So you wanna make sure that you've got uh, just a thermometer to be able to use that afterwards. So I'm just going to put the lid on there and pop into our microwave. And it's as simple as that. I'm just gonna set that and forget it. It's gonna be ready in my house. It takes about 25, 27 minutes uh, to cook completely. Uh, we've got a microwave about 900 wattage, um, but those of you who have higher wattages, you'll be able to do it in a little bit faster, between 20 and 25 minutes generally. The other thing that I'm gonna serve with that is a salad, and I'm also going to make um, some of our rotisserie chicken sauce, which is uh, kind of our take on some of the Swiss chalet sauce that many of you, especially if you're from Canada watching this, uh, have enjoyed when you go to the takeout restaurant to eat that. Um, so we're going to start that right coming up. All right, we're ready to make our hot chicken, chicken dipping sauce. So this is going to taste very similar to that famous restaurant that we have here, the uh, Swiss Chalet sauce that everybody loves when they're having their chicken dinners there. So to start, we're going to start with two cups of our nourish broth mix prepared. So we've got our nourish broth here, we've got two cups of water. This is so easy to prepare and so much lower in sodium than the things that you're gonna have and purchase at the store. So all you do is take your mix and your water, I've got two cups of water measured out and two heaping teaspoons of the nourish broth mix and you're done. So we'll put that aside and add that to, I'm gonna use Epicure's eight cup multi-purpose pot. This is a host favorite uh, and it sells out just as quickly as it seems to come into stock these days. Everybody needs to want to get theirs, get their hands on one. And some of the reason is because it is, it's just that good. It's got your, um, your stainless steel, so it's going to wear really well over time. It's got this ergonomic handle so that if you're, um, if you're cooking, this handle is not going to warm up on you. It's also a lot easier. The weight distribution is better, so it's not as hard on your wrists. As we get older, our wrists tend to get a little bit weaker. So this is a really great tool for aging parents or ourselves. Let's face it, we all get a little bit older over time. Uh, also a really handy pot to have when you're camping. The lid actually has some built-in strainers to it. Uh, so we're going to use this one. To the uh, nourish broth, we're going to add uh, a tablespoon of ketchup. I'm just going to take Epicure's 4-in-1 spice spoon here. You've got our tablespoon, our teaspoon, and then you flip it over and you've got your half teaspoon and quarter teaspoon there as well. So a tablespoon of ketchup that I'm going to mix in there. And it's going to be difficult with me today. <laughs> there we go. So I've got our tablespoon of ketchup. We're gonna use a teaspoon of barbecue sauce. You can use any type of barbecue sauce you want. Um, we don't, uh, yeah, we can use any kind. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's today because that's what I've got in my fridge. So a teaspoon of barbecue sauce. 
and then we're gonna use some paprika. We're gonna take a teaspoon of paprika. And add that in there. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. If you can say that, tell me in the comments because I certainly can't say it very well. So a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of cold water. Okay, I've already got that pre-measured. And then finally, I'm gonna take a quarter cup of the Epicure um, savory herb gravy mix to add in there. So that's already pre-measured. That's gonna go in here. I'm just gonna give that a good little whisk here to get everything kind of blended. And then you're just gonna cook that on your stove top until it's kind of thickened. Uh, the, once it's ready, you can season it to taste with salt and pepper as well. So that's just gonna go on my stove, probably take you about five to seven minutes to get that totally thickened up. Next step, we're gonna make our salad dressing. Okay, the last step today is we're gonna make Epicure's balsamic dressing mix. And what I love about these mixes is you can make as little or as much as you need. They're gonna stay nice and fresh. Uh, you can keep them on your countertop even after they've been made, or if you put them in the fridge, just when you're ready to use it next time, just take it out and let it come to room temperature again so your oils will soften up and um, liquefy again because they tend to harden a little bit when they're in the fridge. Uh, so we're gonna take two tablespoons of Epicure's dressing mix. And I'm gonna put this right into Epicure's cruet and funnel, which is designed for our cruets. And these spoons, so this one's not showing you a great job, but they have been designed to actually fit in all of our jars too, which is a nice handy little feature. So we've got that. The other part too is that the recipe's right in the jar, so I don't have to remember the recipe all the time. Uh, so a quarter cup of olive oil and then a quarter, sorry, three quarters of a cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar and you're ready to go. So quarter cup of balsamic. And mine's getting a little bit old here, so it tends to not pour as nicely. This is the slowest and the most painful way of doing this ever, but you know what? It's, <laughs> it's how we work sometimes. Okay, so we've got our quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. We'll just add that to the cruet. And then we need three quarters of a cup of olive oil. Measure that out here. And once I've made up these dressings too, I tend to not need to use all of them when I'm making a full batch, but I love to use it to marinate meats. This is an amazing marinade on steak or chicken. So just something to have handy and use up the full batch right away. So we've got that finished. We're just gonna put the lid on here, give it a good shake, and your dressing is ready to go. Now, the longer that this sits, the more flavor it's gonna have into it. So I do recommend making this and letting it sit for five to 10 minutes, uh, which is perfect timing for when your chicken's gonna be ready. And then you're ready to serve your salad with your, um, the rest of your meal, you're good to go. All right, and we're just gonna wait for our chicken to be ready, and then I'm gonna show you how great that chicken looks when it's finished. Okay, everybody, everything is ready to go. I'm just going to take our sauce, our hot chicken dipping sauce off the stove top and show you, I'm just putting it in the prep bowl so we can dip it into it, but just see that nice consistency there. So good. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. It's so delicious, it smells so good. It's gonna be great on our chicken. So I'll set that aside. I'm gonna take the chicken out of the microwave. Okay. Okay. Oh, I wish I could smell it. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna do another check of our temperature. So we wanna see it at about 180 degrees, right? So we'll stick that right in there. Just to check for doneness. We don't want anybody getting sick. <laughs> and we're good to go. Okay. So once you've got your chicken cooked, I'll just set that aside on my counter here. I'm gonna pull it out of the steamer. 
and set it on my cutting board. Just let some of that juice drop off here. Just so I, there we go. And I'll show you how beautiful it is once it's cut open. See if you can see that here. I will just do a little slice here to show you how tender and juicy this is. It's absolutely the most flavorful chicken I have ever had when I cook it this way. I've got a bone right there. But you can just see this just will fall right off the bone. How beautiful. And I'm terrible that this is my husband's job, truthfully. <laughs> He's the one that does the chicken roasting. So we've got that, we've got our, our chicken sauce ready. And I realized partway through that I didn't have any salad. So we're just gonna have some veggies and we've got our meal ready to brock. So I hope that you have been able to check this out and enjoy um, an idea for some meals. The thing I love about rotisserie chicken meals too is they're just so simple, right? And whether you're cooking for one person, you're cooking for two, or you're cooking for five, this kind of a recipe can do you for a number of different meals in a number of different ways. If I'm cooking for one, I make one of these up and I'll have the leftovers all week in different recipes like on fajitas and salads and all sorts of things. So I love that about it. With my family, we tend to finish this up in a day or two, um, but the other part of, of cooking this way too is this doesn't heat up my kitchen at all by using the microwave to cook it. You can do this recipe as well using this, um, using the steamer even too in your oven. You can cook it for about an hour and a half at 350 and it'll give you the same beautiful texture as what we've got here. Now, the other thing to do if you wanna get these items, especially the steamers that are our higher priced items or one of the pots, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you talk to your consultant and book your cooking class so that you can get these items at free or half price. Also, I just wanted to let you know that we have a business opportunity coming up later tonight that I would love for you to join us in. Uh, there's gonna be a Zoom link posted shortly, but that's gonna be at 8.30 tonight in English, and I believe it's at eight o'clock in French as well. Um, so I hope that if you've seen something in this video tonight that maybe appeals to you, you'd like to earn some extra income or save for a trip someday when we can travel again or pay off some debt, whatever it might be, I hope that you'll join us to hear a little bit more about what Epicure can offer you in your life. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Have a fantastic night.